What's up everybody, this is Braz. Today we're gonna do a quick overview about the faction, the Alliance of Light. So the first two rays that I met together was the Terran and the Prosawin. From there they worked together. The Prosawin helped the Terran to make a new race based upon the human genetic, except a little bit modified and we can say upgraded. Near the year 3000, the Project Clone Soldiers was almost at an end. The Saif series was already been approached by the Prosawin, but didn't want to join them. Now, they return with another invitation, and this time they have accepted to join the faction. The Clone Soldiers was the last race to join the faction, and have been created with the sole purpose of reinforcing the Alliance of Light armies. <clears throat> Let me take my good voice to read all these. Terrans. Background and religion. When the Terran race learn how to manipulate the light and how it works, they focus their attention on building the best type of spaceship with the use of this new source of energy. After finding out the existence and proof that there were once gods of light fighting the corruption in the universe, they have since become fanatic and directed all prayers and energies towards these gods. The mind and the soul of a Terran is easily corruptible and only those with high faith can be protected protected against the force of corruption. Military ranking system. The hierarchy is based upon old military fashion, ranking, total war contribution, and classes experience system. The Terran is the most strict race when it comes down to the military ranking system. By evaluating their souls in all three categories, it's only centuries ago they added a new loyalty ranking system to favor the souls of who has pleased the most these gods of light. Specialization and Weaknesses The Terran armies has the best aircraft and the most general in all the alliance. Their bodies is maybe the weakest in many ways, but for what they lack, they give it back in being the fastest when it comes down to crafting supplies and items. With the best engineers and scientists in the faction, the Terran race is the fastest when it comes down to the technology upgrading speed, armors and weapon type. To protect the human body, the Terran had to evolve their armors and clothing styles year after years. They have now found what it seems to be the best for them, a littering armor and a full body shield. Specializing in all one-handed weapon, they prefer to dual wheels, weapon like pistols, SMGs, short sword. They also like to work with books and wands. The Terran raises the first creators and masters of the light swords. So right now, all what I just said is on the website you can go check it out. I probably misspelled a lot of stuff, but let's get going. You can also find some artwork and the timeline. Classes will be up to uh, reveal pretty soon and the tech tree will probably be coming uh, with the book for the first part of the tech tree of every race. So this was a quick overview of the Terran race. Let's keep on going because we got three more to cover. All right, next we got the Prosawin. Background and religion. Being the creation of a divine god can sometimes be a gift or a curse. The Prosawin race was the fifth attempt by the gods of light in making the perfect race, to finally purge the corruption from all universe. With a pure soul that cannot be corrupted, their high fate towards the light makes their soul harder to be destroyed. Prosawin fought in a last stand battle against the corruption but lost control of their own solar system and home planet in a whole out war against the Horde, costing them to lose 80% of their main forces and the last two gods of light to be captured and in prison. They have since decided to search many solar systems for other race to help them in their never-ending quest against evil in a galactic warfare. Military Ranking System the Prosawin hierarchy is determined by an inscription marked on their body that represents how many planets they have saved and restored back to their original form. After a long period of time, they have integrated the four military ranking system of the Turin race and decided to adapt their ranking promotion based on loyalty experience earned. Specialization and weaknesses. Running faster than any other allied race can be a good perk and a disadvantage sometimes. They are often used on front lines to make quick run back forward trip in between friendly base or carry more supplies than other race to resupply soldiers around them. Their building method is slower than any race but they can build multiple structures at the same time. Armors and weapon type. 
Equip it with an invisible clot under Klatsnen armor, the Proselwyn are a deadly forces for ambush scenarios. They have the fastest utility vehicle and excel in any one-ended weapon like axe. They also like to hunt with bows, staff, wands and books. You can take a look at everything what I just said onto the website inside of the Proselwyn section. You can also see the artwork and the timeline. Let's continue with the SciF series. Background and Religion Finding your creator can be a long and hard quest. Four different robot model of the F series were created and left on a planet with no memories of their past or creation. With only two predeterminated mission, raising an army to participate in a galactic war and finding back their creator, the four F series robot model were originally designed to have no preference toward fate, but their system still allows them to join any religion if wanted or needed. Military Ranking System The only resemblance between the four armies of F-Series model are the way they think. They are all linked to the general of their model and act as one. There is no military ranking system established inside the F-Series armies. The four general can make decision and talk throughout any robots from their respective army. After joining the Alliance of Light, the Psy F-Series have integrated the four military ranking system of the Terran race and decided to adapt their ranking promotion based on loyalty experience earned. Specialization and Weaknesses With the benefits on running on batteries, they are the best race in the faction for gathering resources and guarding outposts for long periods of time. The SciF series AI defenses structures cost fewer supply to maintain against DK system. Having a disadvantage with water, they have developed a shield technology on their boat and water battleships to repulse all water from whoever is leaving the ship for short periods of time. Armors and Weapon Type The General Cypher, creators of the SciF series, has constructed two main shield systems. One that can withstand a planetary strike meant for defending captured planet, and one that can be applied to male Nox armor type to support the Alliance troop in their galactic quest. Programmed to adapt and quickly learn how to handle most weaponry, they prefer to hunt with electric spears and any other electric weapons like pistols, rifle, and heavy guns. You can see everything that I just uh, said onto the website, like uh, for every other race, you can see the artwork and uh, the timeline is not done yet. I am currently working on the timeline of the Clone Soldier. I am not yet on to the SciF series. Let's continue with the last race of the Alliance of Light, the Clone Soldier. Background and Religion the genes of five war heroes were chosen to make and create the perfect army of clone soldier. Created in mass factories and given an artificial soul, they are blessed by the lights and in their late 20s to their early 30s when leaving the creation pods. Mainly used in operation to spare Terran souls from being corrupted or destroyed, they have saved and conquered a countless solar systems and planets. We are the light that burns the fire of corruption and our soul shall remain the same, Joe X. Military Ranking System The Clone Soldier have a ranking system based upon the same as the four Terran race system but with much more detail. The count of successful mission or saved soul are taken more seriously. Having a system to punish a soul or a rank based on how many failed mission or time they have fallen on the front line or what supply have been lost by their fault is the way that all true believer of light should follow in the light we trust. Mac Phoenix Specialization and Weaknesses The Clone Soldiers is the toughest race in the Alliance with a normal body of 7 feet to 8 feet. They receive enormous nanotechnology augmentation to help them survive in, in extreme situations and achieve in high-risk operations like tactical pushes, armor car pushes and holding front lines. They have the most powerful armored vehicle in all the Alliance but they are also the slowest when it comes down to the speed. Created to ignore the meaning of the word fear, the clone soldiers as courage, spirits, leadership that increase the morale of any souls nearby. Armors and weapon type 
clone soldiers prefer to wear platinum armors, the heaviest armor type that the Alliance can manufacture. They specialize in all two-ended weapons like heavy mace, heavy guns, snipers, but can also handle staff, books and heavy artillery. You can see everything that I just talked about on our website and uh, the early timeline is coming up pretty soon for all the race too. I hope you liked the video. That was just a quick overview. There is more detail that you can find on the website. There is full of easter eggs and nice details. So yeah, go check it out. Be sure to join our community on the Discord. It's Brad signing out.